Hello, I'm Sharad Chandra, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to add the Oracle Enterprise Manager Database Express to Amazon Relational Database Service for Oracle Database. Let's get started. After signing into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon RDS Console in the respective region. Choose database instance from the navigation pane and then select the instance. Currently, this instance is using the default option group. That means this Amazon RDS for Oracle DB instance doesn't have any options defined to it. You can skip this step if you already have an option group assigned onto the DB instance. If not, let's go to the option group tab from the navigation pane and then select create option group. Here, during creating the option group for RDS Oracle, give it a name, description, select the engine, Oracle Enterprise Edition or Standard Edition for your DB instance and then select 12.1 as a major DB engine version. I have specified 12.1 here for the demo purpose. For your use, be sure to use the appropriate DB engine version. After you create the option group, select the newly created option group and then select add option. From the options drop down list, select OEM. After you select OEM, you will see more settings such as the default port number 5500 which is applicable when connecting to the OEM option. Note that the VP security group used in this demo allows incoming access from the internet in order to use database control from your local machine later. Be aware this is not typical networking settings from Amazon RDS. Make sure that your VPC is configured to allow incoming access onto the OEM port. Next, select the VPC security groups that you want to enable this option to allow access to OEM URL. When done, select apply immediately. Now associate this option group with the DB instance. Note that when you are using Oracle Database 12C or later major version DB instance, you will see the message a brief outage occurs while your DB instance automatically restarted. This means that after you add the OEM option, you don't need to restart your DB instance. As soon as the option group is active, the OEM database is active. Note, adding an OEM option to the existing option group that runs Oracle 19C, Oracle 18C or Oracle 12C DB instances introduced an outage for a very short time during which new connections are rejected, existing connections are not interrupted. After you enable the OEM option, you can begin using the OEM Database Express from your browser. In this demo, I am using the Chrome browser. You can access either OEM Database Express or OEM Database Control from your web browser. The web URL of the OEM option contains the RDS endpoint and OEM port. When the page is loaded, enter the username and password for your DB instance. You are now ready to manage your Oracle databases. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.